It's time for three questions with Pastor Carney. Today, we're going to answer and defend a series of one choice questions. We all have questions, and Pastor Carney has answers. We all want to know what he thinks. There's important information to know. What are his thoughts? How did he get here? What's his favorite golf ball? It's time for three questions with Pastor Carney. Melissa, is it do I, okay? I mean, easy. We talk and talk. We love talking. She likes listening. I like talking. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! One more time. <laughs> oh, I talk way more. She's a very good okay. listener. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. She's a very good listener. Uh, I'm, I'm hesitating because is it a person who is alive or not alive? Your choice. Eh, my choice. Uh, one person. But that, only one. Only one person to have personal conversations with for the rest of my life. Yes. Who would that be? Um, uh, you know, I, I, I love sweetness completely, uh, but I would choose, and, I'm, and this might come out wrong, picking one over everybody else, but I'm picking one of my grandkids, Molly. Because Molly is such, what's the word? She, she's funny. She has quips that she said things. And sometimes she's look at her, like, where'd that come from? And sometimes she's funny and sometimes she's, she's dear. It, she's just a, a buffet of, of communication. And it would be really interesting <laughs> to have a, a conversation with her for the rest of my life and, and just listen to her talk and, and be funny and whatnot. Um, so I would, I would unfor not unfortunately, but I would choose Molly for some weird reasons. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, I, that, I would go with that just because it's different. What about you, Billy? I feel guilty not choosing the first one that came to my mind. And I have to go with Hallie. Oh, so you gotta go because with Hallie and I, we've gotten along for so many years. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've been together for 30, wow, 37 years. Mm -hmm. So, um, it just not a lot of people can take me for an extended amount of time hmm. and she can. So that's a keeper. I, yeah, I have to keep her in my life. Well, that's easy. Sin. Sin. Okay. That, that's our Jesus answer. Yeah. Sin. yeah, yeah sin. Okay. Yeah. All right. But then earthly, if there is no sin, would be in How heaven. We know grace, and grace, or anything uh, that we need Jesus. Okay. See, that's the pitfall too. That that's what I was saying is whatever you choose, you know, yeah. I'll get rid of hate. Well, if you get rid of hate, how do you know love? You get yeah. rid of murder. How do you know? Yeah. You know. Well, I think it's interesting though because God mm -hmm. created us with the intention to to not have sin. So Correct. I think if sin was taken away, or let's say Adam and Eve never sinned, and all the way down the line mm -hmm. nobody ever right. sinned, I mean, that'd be a pretty ideal mm -hmm. world. But it I would sure, be ideal. but yes. but then again, there wouldn't be death, and there wouldn't be all these different things. Correct. So I mean, yeah, I mean, I think that the mm -hmm. idea that we have heaven coming for us mm -hmm. because of the grace, right. not that I would prefer to have sin in this mm -hmm. world, but boy, that's to me, this is our yeah, temporary home. It, so that's a good I way to live. I think you went yeah. exactly where I did with the sin because I that was my first one too. Is uh, well, if I extrapolate, if there's no sin in the world, then mm -hmm. there's no sin ever. So I've never been created. Mm -hmm. I have a because second answer. Because Adam and Eve never left the garden because yeah. there's no sin. I have a second answer. True. Snow. <laughs> you know what? I'm not too far off. I, about, okay. <laughs> about a month of the year, uh, Thanksgiving to Christmas, let it snow, let it snow, yeah. let it snow. And then after that, yeah. please go away. So, so I, my, my second answer would be snow. If, no, hold on. If answer. you gave it, earth, I gave snow. Yeah. What would it be yeah. an earthly answer? One thing you would remove from this world. Yeah. Man. Would it be cold weather? Not necessarily, right. because I kind of like what Billy was saying okay. in regards to the contrast, though, of, right. you don't, I don't know that I would fully appreciate the warm weather if mm -hmm. I didn't have some of the okay. cold weather, as much as I do love the warm mm -hmm. weather. Could get rid of. Some kind of food? Oh, probably sickness. Oh, okay. I would probably get rid of sickness. Okay. I mean, even if there was sin in the world, mm -hmm. to not have to worry about cancer and different mm -hmm. things and people that you love, I mean, that's all part of sin, but I would just say sickness. Yeah. yeah. An, er an earthly 
and to fear. Politicians. Oh. And Billy's email address will appear at the end of the screen. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's anybody out there that likes a politician. Yeah. It's hard because what would exist that we don't know about? Exactly. Yeah. Let me give you an example Yeah. of something that I've heard someone mm. answer this. It's not my answer, uh, but this question uh, could have the answer of uh, a teleporter. Hmm. What's that? Love traveling. You could teleport from one place to another. Yeah. You could go, you could I say. I love traveling. You know, the person loves traveling but hates the actual traveling. Traveling. Okay. Oh, yeah. So if he could go immediately from here to Hawaii, That'd be great. Wow. I'm there. Hey. I'm there. <laughs> Let's talk about that answer. Well, you could uh, um, you could change a lot of lives with that. Mm. Something that the world doesn't have that I would want in the world. Wow. Now you guys have probably seen this nonstop, but there's a huge gap between my answers. <laughs> um you got an answer? Oh, I have a funny one. Okay. Do you really? I'll go with more funny. All right. All right. Uh, I would say that I wish that the ocean existed without danger in the ocean. Because if it did, I would be a surfer and I would be out on the water all the time and all that stuff. So I'm just going to go with that because honestly, I couldn't think of anything else. So, but that is what's one thing that you wish existed, not one thing you wish wasn't. Yeah, see, exist. you went back to question two. <laughs> mm, man, see, I didn't really answer it. I'm going to go with a funny question, funny answer. Okay. I don't know what just hit me, is that um, bigger holes on the greens for golf. Not these little things, but like really big holes. So if you come within five feet of the hole, you're in. You know, it's I like big holes. You, you made me just think of a new sport that I think okay. we could create, right? Right. So you had tennis, right? And then pickleball, pickleball was created. Yeah. Golf. So maybe you have a new golf game where it's just a chipping, where you have a big open <laughs> hole or something, right? I uh, go with a bigger hole yeah. on the, in the golf courses. Yeah. Yep, that, that's my answer. Yeah. Yeah. Existed. Phil, Phil's redesigning putt putt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's my answer. Oh wait, <laughs> bigger holes. That's right. Yeah. So <laughs> you don't need gimmies anymore. Yeah. You come within five feet. It's in a hole. Yeah. No so, mulligan needed. No mulligan needed. That's right. uh, yeah, bigger holes in the golf course. Yeah. But besides that, Billy, it's a good question. Probably what I'm going to think about all day now is something that I would want in the world besides bigger holes in the golf course. Um, yeah, because we don't know of something that doesn't exist, kind of. Yeah. yeah. Well, like he said, though, maybe it's like untapped. Yeah. Uh, some sort of technology or something. Yeah. That, hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Yeah. I, I'm going to go. Yeah, I, I'll go with my bigger holes in the golf course. But I like your answer because there are times when... Video calling is great. I love video call my, my kids, my grandkids. Um, but in order to be able to snap my finger, you know, when, when, when the grandkid would say, you know, Pop, I miss you, or can I come over, or can you come over, da, 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 and just go and be there instantly with a transporter, that would be great. Yeah. So those are my two answers. I've been racking my brain for five minutes. I literally, I can't think yeah. of anything. Everything I think of is already existing. It's just something mm. I would want. Yeah. But not something that doesn't exist. Yeah. I don't know. It's a good question. Do you have something else, Billy? If you've ever seen Galaxy Quest with uh, Tim oh, Allen. Way back when. Well, yeah. like 90s. 90s, yeah. 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 And it, it, it's, it's really funny. But they have this device on the ship that no one knows what it does. And at the end, they figure out that what it does is it gives you the opportunity to go back eight seconds. Mm, that's right. And Ooh. they said, well, what, what use would that be? And he says, it gives you the chance to... To make up for one horrible mistake, I would love to have wow. a device where when I have that moment of going, eh, I shouldn't have said that or done that, yeah. to be able to just replay eight seconds and just yep. oh, I like that answer. redo it. Yeah. You know, not something answer. that goes back, you know, eight years yeah. and redoes everything because you yeah. know, yeah. The pitfalls of that is horrible. But if I could just yeah. have that moment to undo that that yep. thing I shouldn't yeah. have said or that thing I shouldn't have done. Yeah. That's like that Adam Sandler movie, Click. Oh, yes. where you can re yes. rewind and go yeah. back. And that's good, Billy. Yeah, that is that really is a good really answer. Good. Yeah, I still go the bigger holes in the golf course. Yeah, <laughs> but I no do doubt. like that answer though. It's Are a good done? answer. Got so, nothing else. I, after that answer, pff, yeah, that's perfecto. It's been three questions with Pastor Carney. I'm Phil Coon and Billy Brinkerhuff with us. Signing off. Have a great week.
Thanks again for joining us. If you have any questions about Redeemer, have a topic or interview suggestion, or need to know anything about the church, you can contact the church office at churchoffice at RedeemerWarsaw.org, Pastor Carney at Pastor underscore Carney at RedeemerWarsaw.org, Phil at Phil.Prevail at gmail.com, or Billy at RLC underscore IT at RedeemerWarsaw.org. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And please join us again next week. And until then, may the Lord be with your spirit and grace be with you. Well, now I feel bad that I didn't say Donna. You, but, you probably should but, feel but, kind of bad. You know, <laughs> you, you know I, I, but just, if you, if you hang around Molly, you, you would know why. I think Donna yeah. would agree with me 